Hey everyone, this is Big Voiced Films, and today on the reviewing table is um, the Alien Anthology Blu-ray Egg Edition. Uh, now I've seen uh, a lot of other people do reviews about this, and anything I had to say about it would be um, repetitious at best, so I'll refrain from that. And I figured that in light of this release, I'd actually bring you some vintage sort of old-school uh, versions of this film so just bear with me here we have the alien or actually alien on laserdisc um, and a very early laser uh, disc release and that this is sort of primitive in its, uh, in its own way as it only has it only has the analog sound, not the PCM sound, which means that you um, you don't get that sort of crisp laserdisc sound that that's actually um, unique or was unique for laserdisc. One of the major selling points, in my opinion. So you don't get that with this, and it actually do doesn't even have chapter encoding. So that's that's too bad. It's a nice addition, though. Very old school. Very much, uh, very much in a look into uh, how home video has evolved. So that's sort of cool. Uh, then we have my release of Aliens, of course, which is the second installment uh, in the quadrilogy, as it is, as it were. Um, this is in fact a special edition. Uh, it's a director's cut special widescreen collector's edition, as it says here, uh, right there. Uh, this is very cool. Uh, it's a four disc edition. Um, it comes in a box set, which then you open up like this, and inside you have a really cool, sturdy booklet. Very nice. Uh, it has some writing by James Cameron, Cameron himself about putting this edition together and when I read it I get sort of st struck by how early this is and how this is a look into what was to come in the special edition home video releases so that's cool the booklet brings you some pretty nice pictures I'm not sure if you can see that. You might be able to see some of it. Uh, it has some uh, about the chapter stops. It has some writing about the movie. Uh, so that's pretty cool. This is a widescreen release, as I said. Also very nice. And on the back here, it it states some of the special features on this. So it has a new digitally mastered transfer supervised by James Cameron. It's in the CAV format, which offers you the possibility to freeze a frame on a specific um, picture frame, basically. Uh, although that it should be said that that brings the limitation of only having about 30 minutes worth of uh, space to show the film in per disk side. So that's a drawback. It has restored footage, obviously not included in the theatrical or televised version. It has an interview with James Cameron. It has behind-the-scenes footage, production art from the collections of James Cameron, Ron Cobb, and Sid Mead, rare production photographs, screenplay excerpts, uh, and a lot of other stuff. So it's pretty stacked, actually. And this has the PCM sound, the digital laser disc sound, uh, which brings that extra Christmas to us uh, to it. So that's cool. Really nice addition. I have read uh, somewhere that this is subject to laser rot. And now I don't know how familiar you are with that. It's something that afflicts laser discs, which renders them unplayable. I'm I'm not going to describe the process of that, um, but uh, I can say this much: that my edition doesn't have it. It's uh, it's rot free. I watched it back to back, and there's no trouble with it really. 
but if you for some reason want to get this you you might you might want to be extra careful about that if you intend on watching it at least on LaserDisc so you don't get a um, version with laser rods. The problem being it's not visible to the naked eye. You'd actually need to play it. But um, as I said, it's a nice addition either way. And my la last edition of Alien is Alien 3, the third movie. This is uh, a widescreen edition and it comes with the PCM sound and everything but that's basically it for this release it doesn't really have anything other than that um, but it's still uh, still a cool addition mine is very mint looking uh, so I'm glad to get it in that uh, condition and I don't know having these editions comparing them to the blu-ray it gives you that sort of nostalgic look at the history of uh, of um, the ho of home video and seeing how I mean this is obviously not exactly where it started and there's been some other stuff to compete with this but this is such a it's, it looks sort of like the uh, a, a primitive uh, cry from the wilderness to Blu-ray. Um, but but one you appreciate and like, uh, at least I do. So that's it for B Big Force Films right now. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll soon be back with a new uh, video for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.